Ah, uh, this is Paul. <laughs> Just looking at these judicial system uh, decisions of child welfare proceedings and domestic violence factors. Yeah. <laughs> Child abuse and neglect proceedings in the state of Washington are governed by RCW 1334. Uh -huh. uh, the juvenile court has exclusive original jurisdiction over the child once an RCW 1334 petition has been filed. Uh -huh. This means the placement, parental contact, visitation, and services for the child cannot be addressed in another court, including proceeding for parenting plan orders or protective orders. Oh, mm -hmm. In regards to marriage of Perry 31, uh -huh, the juvenile court may, and in appropriate circumstances, should grant con concurrent jurisdiction. Uh, uh, are empowered to issue order, emergency removal, temporary shelter care, dependency, permanent planning, returning home, termination of parenting rights, <laughs> adoption. Pooch. Exactly what court uh, issued the adoption? Oh, <laughs> now, uh, any of the these proceedings might involve placement or visitation. <laughs> the court may be called upon to make or approve a change of placement uh, between or among relatives, foster care, group care. Yes. <laughs> But it says here that further RCW 26.44.020 provides that negligent treatment or maltreatment includes act or omissions, which evidences a serious disregard of consequences of such magnitude as to constitute a clear and present danger to the child's health, welfare, or safety. Now, poverty, homelessness, or exposure to domestic violence, a defined is, yeah, that is perpetuated against somebody other than the child does not constitute negligent treatment or maltreatment in and of itself. Yes. This 26.50.010, yes. My being homeless, yes, uh, does not constitute that I don't have any rights. Poverty. Now, this exposure to domestic violence, 26.50.010, where you sent all the court orders to Mike Van Proyen and I would get arrested for contacting him. <clears throat> I think it's domestic violence on the part of Mike Van Proyen to not inform the court that they should not be sending anything in my name to 1023 Kitchen Dick Road. Out! Out! Now, I know. Coach. <laughs> This whole concept of issuing court orders that were sent to an address where I get arrested for harassment if I contact them. Yes. And then I give you the evidence that uh, Legene is being exploited. <laughs> and for some reason, this state doesn't feel any compulsion to protect children or the rights of parents and children. You know, Sheriff, you said I was a mentally ill homeless man, Pooh. <laughs> but you never spoke to me yourself, did you? <laughs> you never asked me, well, Paul, Pooch, why don't you call Mike and find out why you didn't get all those court orders? Well, I can't, Sheriff. <laughs> He'd have me arrested. Ouch! Now, I think it's domestic violence, okay? I think it's domestic violence on the part of Mike Van Proyen to inform me that he'd contact the authorities if I ever contacted Mike or Marilyn Pooch. And then you continue to send notices of court hearings to that address knowing that I couldn't contact him. Yes. And then you arrested me numerous times for the allegation of violating a fraudulent protection order. Yes. And then when I inform you that uh, both Marilyn and her child is being exploited, you as police is just fucking department.